Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Welcome back, nursing students, to another episode of Pharmacology in Practice. Today, we're exploring two different types of medications, a combination of hormonal contraceptives containing estrogen and progesterone, as well as tubutylin, also called tubutyline, a medication used in OB. We're going to dive into detailed patient scenarios to see exactly how these drugs are utilized in clinical practice. Let's start with our combo drug, the hormonal contraceptives, which are widely used for birth control and other gynecological purposes. These medications contain synthetic forms of hormones, including estrogen and progesterone. So let's start with estrogen, typically ethylene estradiol. This works by suppressing ovulation and causing changes in cervical mucus and even uterine lining, making it difficult for sperm to reach the egg and implant in the uterus. Now let's talk about the progesterone component, such as levonorgestrel. This also prevents ovulation and thickens cervical mucus, further reducing the risk of pregnancy. So let's go through a real-life case study. Meet Emily, a 25-year-old who visits her gynecologist for contraceptive counseling. After discussing her medical history and preferences, Emily's doctor recommends starting oral contraceptive pill containing ethanol estradiol and levonorgestrel. Emily's instructed to take one pill daily at the same time each day. Her doctor explains the potential side effects such as nausea, breast tenderness, and breakthrough bleeding, and advises her to report any concerning symptoms immediately. Now, Emily's also counseled on the importance of using backup contraception during the first week of taking the pill and if she misses any doses. Regular follow-up appointments are scheduled to monitor her response and address any concerns. This scenario perfectly illustrates the use of combination hormonal contraceptives for birth control, it also highlights the importance of proper counseling and monitoring by healthcare providers. Now let's discuss terbutaline, also called terbutaline, medication commonly used in OB to manage preterm labor contractions. Terbutaline is a bronchodilator that simply works by relaxing smooth muscles inside the uterus, which inhibit uterine contraction. Remember, terbutaline makes you wait in line. It slows down premature contractions to basically delay delivery. So let's go into a real life case study. Meet Sarah, a 28 year old woman who is 32 weeks pregnant and presents to the labor and delivery unit with contractions. Now upon evaluation, she is diagnosed with preterm labor, which can lead to preterm birth if not managed properly. Sarah's care team starts her on IV infusion of terbutaline to help stop or slow the contractions. The dosage is gradually increased until the contractions subside or a maximum dose is reached. Now Sarah's vital signs, including her heart rate, blood pressure, and fetal heart rate are closely monitored, as terbutaline can have cardiovascular effects. After 24 hours of continuous infusion, Sarah's contractions have completely stopped, and she switched to oral terbutaline tablets to maintain uterine relaxation. So remember, wait in line with terbutaline. This case study showcases the use of terbutaline, tocolytic, to suppress premature labor contractions and delay preterm birth. So what did we learn? Well, in this video, we explored two different types of medications, a combo hormonal contraceptive containing estrogen and progesterone. We also learned about terbutaline, a medication used in OB to manage preterm labor contractions. Remember nursing students, understanding pharmacology is crucial for providing safe and effective care to your future patients. So stay tuned for more pharmacology in practice videos, where we'll continue to bring pharmacology to life through engaging patient scenarios. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.